okay and also yesterday we completed all the three type of process enumeration iterator recitator okay these three cursors not much used in the real time applications only we mostly go with uh, maybe for each loop and in java we have more flexibility streams concept okay i'll discuss that next topic after the collection framework we'll go for java features okay next one is set okay in the collection interface we have another sub interface called set okay the set is interface like that set how it is different from the list what are the list properties what is list behavior what is list behavior serializable column instance orders maintained and that means preserved duplicates allowed null value ki chapla devanta these are main four properties for the set okay in the set we have a array list link list vector stack okay that follows all these four properties and and each one has different some more properties in the array list what is so in the array list what are properties specific array list all these four along with that we have a it, it implements serializable clonable and random access this is best for where it is best to insert elements and retrieval okay like that we have a linked list where linked list properties it implements serializable clonable but not random access okay so this is the best size whenever we are doing manipulations what are the manipulations in middle this is important middle of linked list so what is manipulation add or remove elements in the middle the best why the best i told with the example to follow internally node concept but not dynamic array on vector it is same as in the group matter la vector is not synchronized main difference is vector class methods are not synchronized okay remaining all are same and stack is a child class of vector okay fine it's a working in last in first out leave for meta vector okay. is synchronized right not vector is synchronized but stack it is follows leave for method leave for order okay 
last and first order. These are main pro four properties, four classes and different properties on the list implementations. Okay, if you go for set like that, set how many classes are there in the set? See here, hash set, linked hash set. This is navigable map is a navigable set is a interface, not a class. Okay, three set is a class. We'll go one by one today. Mostly will complete. Oh. Okay, in vector class, when the vector class method is not maybe synchronized, correct? Okay. So, has set. What are different properties of has set? First, we'll go, for, go about set. Okay, set will not allow duplicate values. Okay, it will not maintain the insertion order. Okay, the other one is null is allowed. Fourth one is heterogeneous is allowed. These are set properties. Just compare list with the set. In the list, we have a, it will allow duplicate values in the list, but in the set, it reverse, it will not allow. It's a insertion order, but set will not allow insertion order. Next one is null is allowed is common, heterogeneous allowed is common. If you go implementation class for the set, we have a first one is hash set. In hash set, it will follow all this functionality. Okay, it will not follow duplicate values and it will not maintain the insertion order. Then how it will maintain it it use has code mechanism to insert values. Okay, it will not maintain insertion order internally it use some has code mechanism. The other one is Null is allowed, heterogeneous is also allowed. These four three are common. So I told about one method has code while I discussed the object class methods. What is object class? What is object class? Revise your books. Your materials and see what is object class, what are object class methods. Expecting answer, what is object class? What are object class methods? Why no response? Pushing has code equals clone at your multiple methods. Here I'm going to tell about has code. Has code I already told. Okay. For for every object, for every Java object. We have a or Java object JVM will create one 
यूनिक्यू नंबर ओके दिस इज कॉल एस कोड ओके जेवीएम विल विल कॉल हैश कोड मेथड टू क्रिएट ओके स्टोरी मतलब चेपे आलरे गुर्तलेदा मल्ली जेपला If you want to tell to JVM way of creation of unity number, we can override hash code method in our class. so just example we have a class test okay we have a test class if i create test class object test t equal to new test if i create like this internally jvm will use hash code jvm will use hash code method to create a unique number okay it will create object for this there is a unique number the unique number example 1 2 3 4 okay and if you create another object test t1 new test if you create another object unique number 5 6 7 8 how do you create a unique number it internally it will call hash code method how to hash code look like already told we never discuss object class in object class we have one method hash code Okay, we have hash code method. This will be called internally. It is a native method. It implemented by some old languages internally. Okay. So for every object, it is creating the hash code. So it is creating randomly. Okay, it is creating randomly. I want to tell to JVM, JVM, whenever we are giving to unique number to every object, please use some logic. That logic I will provide. How to provide? I will give. I will overwrite my class in the test class. I have to write. public int hash code that means i am overriding that hash code method in our my class how to give my own hash code i will give some count plus plus i will declare one variable here int i is equal to 1 maybe i am using static whatever so first what will happen whenever it create a test method it will internally call hash code to generate some number okay what it will return count plus plus first it return a 1 okay for this hash code is a 1 next time i create again it will call hash code now count plus plus it will give the 2 if i create again it will give the 3 like that i am telling to my jvm whenever you are generating hash code number please use my algorithm my my logic what is my logic just use the count plus plus like that if you use the hash code method it use the hash code method by jvm whenever giving the some unique number same here i am telling 
okay this read this three points for every java object jvm will create one unique number this is called hash code okay jvm will call hash code method of object class to create, if we want to tell to jvm we have creation of unique number we can override hash code method in our class how to override we have to write a method like this unique number creation logic you can write your own logic any logic so what is the recommended approach we have to write the logic for hash code hash code method to generate unique number always for every object this is a recommended approach what that mean just for example if i write a class like this class test i'm writing over this method i'm over this method here always i'm returning that value as 10 now what will happen for every object for every object jvm create a give a same hash code number just for example i created test is equal to new test for this what is the hash code same 10 only because it will call internally hash code method and again i create another object test t1 is equal to new test in this case also it will give the same number same hash code so we have to give the proper logic like for every java object for the generate a different hash code because that is a recommended approach to write a hash code hash code method in our any class ardham endha enduku and confuse unnaru chaala cheppindi oka topic idi This is the worst approach. Okay, what is the best approach? We have to generate a unique number for every Java object. How to? Maybe I can take here static int equal to starting from one and int i. always do that return a i value on increment okay so first to do increment okay it will happen two for next object again we create a object it will go for three like that it will return so i'll make single line like this okay for every java object it will create a new hash code let's check that it is correct or not first in the set i'll create new package for set directly i'm creating a class and create a new package also which is has code method example in that i am taking another class the same file we can take another class example test okay first create a test class object to check t1 is equal to new t1 so for this jvm will create one unique number how to get unique number we have to call the t1 dot hash code okay and i'm creating same again t1 t2 like that just to check is creating different objects or not
you see output first first it created some different number here different number different number that means for every java object it is creating a unity hash code okay this is what jvm following so if i want to tell jvm please use this logic to create the hash code okay see this is logic i'm writing what logic i'm writing taking one static variable int count is equal to 10 starting from 10 i'm taking and always return plus plus count okay now check previous output current output this is the previous one i'm taking to notepad to understand now i'm running We started from 11, 12, 13 because I use the plus plus in starting. If I use at the end, now see it will start from 10. For first object 10, second object 11, third object 12. If I create another object, it will create a, another value. That means we are telling to JVM to create hash code by using our logic. Okay, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So what is the difference between the first and second here? You see default behavior by JVM. Second one is custom behavior by programmer. So, in the game, if I want to override hash code method functionality, I can write that method in the our class. Okay. Here, main point is whenever we are inserting some data, whenever we are inserting some data, it will use the hash code method of that object to insert into set of hash set. Okay. Okay, let's see example first. It will maintain the instance not or not. Has set example. Okay, just I created has set object. is equal to new has it let us dot i'm using the add method first i'm adding 10 maybe abc i'm adding different values cd At last, I added another duplicate value ABC. Let's try to print first. It is inserting same order or not. If it is insert the same order, this should come. It should create a asset like this. First ABC, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, O, D, E, B, C. It should follow this order. If it is followed that, insert not order preserved, insert not order, and duplicacy is allowed. Let's print these values. Check A, B, C, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, G, K, L, M, O, again A, B, C. That means first thing is, it is not allowing duplicate values. Okay, it is not allowing duplicate values. Second thing is, to understand it better, I'm, I am creating here has set dot add of z a b has set dot 
add as 1, 2, 3. Now see it is following insertion order or not. According to this code, should follow first Z, A, B, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Now run this application. See the output 1, 2, 3 is game, but where is Z? Z is game at after FGH. Why? What is the reason? Because for every Java object, this is string also Java object only. Okay. For every Java object, it is followed some hash code functionality based on hash code. Internally, JVM will identify where to store. It will be stored after ABC, after 1, 2, 3, after ZAB, whatever. Okay. That is called hash map functionality. Here, main thing is first one is insertion order. Second one is duplicate. Third one is null. Fourth one is heterogeneous elements. Okay. Heterogeneous elements, these four I will cover now. Instead of one, two, three, take like this. And null also I will try to add two times here. Has set dot add. Null again after here also I'm adding null. Okay, heterogeneous I covered here, and also I'm going to add some character data. Okay, like this. Also, I'm going to add some Boolean data. Okay, so this is the functionality I'm going to add. See the output. It is going to insert not or not. Insert not or not maintained because null is inserted two times, but it is printed only one time. Okay, it is printed only one time. And next one is different character elements is allowed. C here, C here, true, one two three. These are different type of characters. He is inserted. Okay, insert not or not there. Duplicate elements is not allowed. Next one is null is allowed. Null is allowed. Okay, null is inserted two times here. This is null. This is null. But we see output here only one null. Okay, we see output only one null here. Only one. Because to insert two times null, that is a duplicate. The film second time null is a duplicate. That's why it is giving only one same. Heterogeneous is allowed. Different type elements is allowed. These are main pro four properties of hash set. Is this clear or not? Is this clear or not? Clear. Okay. Let's see another example. I'm writing another example. Just see the code first, then answer. Example one, I'm taking. Here I'm taking a simple test class. Test class, maybe test class like this. I'll take test to one, test to one, two. Okay, test to one, two. Now I'm taking same hash set. I created test one two class test t one equal to new test. I created almost five six class objects. Now think everyone. I am going to. I am going to add yeah, all these objects to hash set. T1. T2. 
Three, four. Now tell me totally how many objects are there in the set? Has set. If I print, how many elements will be stored? Think clearly. What have I told? Has scored method functionality and give answer. Don't sit ideally, at least give answer by chart. What is the answer for this? How many objects are there in the hash set? Response, please. At least think and give answer. I don't tell your name, give in chat your answer. It will print a different numbers. Different numbers. So, first answer question is what how many objects are there in the hash set? So, first I created T1 object. For this, is there any hash code will be generated by JVM? Yes, it is generated. Okay. For this example, 1, 2, 3. Again, I am creating an object. It is generated some another value, 3, 2, 5. This Generate a value six to four. This also some number. This also some number. I'm adding all this into hash set. Whenever hash set going to insert the values, it will think first this object already created or not, already inserted or not in the hash set. How do it will compare by using the hash code? For all this object, hash code is different. For all this, hash code is different. That means it will feel this object T1 is different, T2 different, T3 different, 4, 5 different. Okay. It will store all the values in the hash set. Okay. First one is maybe these numbers. T1 goes to here, T2 here, T3 here, T4, T5. Okay. Totally we have five objects. Just check here this answer correct or not. Totally here, five elements are there. These are five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now I want to tell to my JVM. JVM, whenever I create test class object. Okay, I'm doing something here. Listen clearly on C the first has code. I'm returning always 10. In this case, now I did override hash code method and I'm storing that these objects into hash set. How many objects will be stored? How many are stored? Five. Not five. Just see first. Whenever it will create object, JVM will check to call hash code method. Hash code method already there in our class, so it will use the our class hash code method only. So in our class hash code method written the value is 10. For second also same 10. Now it have, we are going to insert. So first we are going to insert 10 value, 10 code hash code. So it will fill, it will insert. Okay, that's fine. Again, we are inserting hash T2. T2 hash code is 10. So this hash code already there. Okay, basically it insert T1 only, but internally check the hash code. T1 hash code and T2 hash code is same. That means already object inserted. It will feel object already present. So don't insert this. Again, T3 also same. This hash code already there. 
three four three five. That means only one of these will be inserted. It is written in that five objects. Right, check. One, two, three, four, five. Let me check. P one dot hash code. So let us check it's printing same or not. This ten ten ten. Okay. If you call hash for method, then it will call in the 1010. Okay, only one other will be inserted. So here main thing is the hash code of that all object is same. Okay, how to make hash code is same for all object? We have to override the corresponding hash code method in the in our class. Okay. Why we need to override? to tell to JVM to generate hash code, use this logic, whatever logic we are writing in the hash code method, use this logic to generate a hash code for the object. Okay. Now, if you return the value, something else here, example, static int, i equal to 10, I'm starting here i plus plus now see if we call hash score for every object it's written the 10 11 12 13 like this it's written all the values 10 to 14 10 to 14 right that's what functionality so whenever we insert the data into the hash score hash set it will call the hash score method okay Is this fine? Remove hash code, what will be print like? Here. If I remove hash code, it will call same method. Basically, to remove hash code, it will go, it will insert multiple values. But that reason I have to tell how internally work this hash set. Okay, that I will tell whenever we go for map, hash map functionality. Okay, there is internal functionality, like an important interview question that I will discuss. I removed hash code method for all. It will use, it will insert a, all the elements. The reason I will I will tell you, just it will use that hash code to insert that object into hash set. But to identify duplicate, it will not use the hash code functionality. Okay, that I will tell whenever we discuss the hash map, when you go for map concept. Okay, because I have to discuss about some key value data structure. Okay. Okay, is fine. Is it fine or not? Yes, fine. So just to remember one thing, whenever we are creating Java object for any class internally, it will generate some unique number. That unique number will be generated by calling hash code method. If the hash code method is there in our class, it, it will call that method. If it's not there, it will call a super class. What is super class for that? Test one, two. This is object class. Okay. Object class has code method will be called. The object class has code method will return some random number. So we want to generate some meaningful requirement. We can use the, we can override hash code method in our class. Okay. This is our hash code functionality. And the main four points are this. These are four points. Just remember. Just remember. Just repeat this. This okay. all are four points. Hash set will not allow duplicate values. It will not maintain insertion order. It will use some hash code mechanism to insert the values. Okay. That means duplication will be identified by hash code method. It is a wrong statement.
duplicates are not identified by as code. Okay, null is allowed. Heterogeneous objects is allowed. Okay, null is allowed only once because next time it will feel this is duplicate. These four are clear. Then we'll go for linked hash set. Simple difference. Linked has set. Linked has set will not allow duplicate values, correct? But it will maintain the insertion order. Okay, it will maintain the insertion order. Null is allowed only once. Heterogeneous value also allowed. Only one difference is it will maintain the insertion order. Just to replace here. Replace here. First, you see has set example. Insertion order not. Did not maintain because null is there at fifth position, but ABC is there at third position. Okay. If I replace here with linked has set, now see the output. So previously, this is the output. Now this is okay. First, I'll copy here output. This is previous. Now it is this is the output. Now compare Z A B. It is inserted first or not? It is inserted first. That's why it is meant in a insertion order. And we inserted one, two, three. Next, one, two, three came. And check A B C insert two times. It is A B C came only one time because it will not allow duplicate values. Okay, null also duplicate only. We inserted two times. We, we got only one time. So link to hash map when we go want to maintain insertion order and don't allow duplicates. And set is want to maintain. So don't want to maintain insertion order and don't allow duplicates. Okay, these are simple points about link to hash set and hash set. Not much difference in this. Okay, if this two are clear, we'll go for next one, next implementation. It is a tree set. What is tree set will go next? These two are clear or not? Yes, Paj, everyone? Clear. Okay, this hash code functionality, when it will be used, what is the purpose? I will tell internal working of hash map. Okay, there I'll cover both hash set and hash code on hash map, these three things. Next is tree map. What is tree map functionality? First one is insertion order not preserved. It will not maintain the insertion order. Same as like hash set on duplicates. I think duplicates are allowed. I will cross check as example. Third one, duplicates are allowed. I'll check that, okay? I'll confirm this. So, third one is heterogeneous is not allowed. That means different type of values not allowed. This is only one collection it is not allowed different values, different type values. Listen clearly, three map will not allow different type values. And null is allowed only once. Okay, let's see example on this. I'm creating a new class for three map, sorry, three set. See, tree set, not tree map. Okay, tree set.
okay t a first one is a b c second one is again a b c maybe c d again a b c and i'm trying to add null and i'm trying to add 100 and trying to add maybe these are fine let's see i almost i covered all the points here insertion order not reserved okay and duplicates elements are now these are duplicates which you can check on different type elements you can check